Want to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. And I am done. Okay, so I just finished listening to 16 Ways to Defend a Walled City by KJ Parker. And I want to give you my unedited thoughts upon finishing this book, which is just right now. Oh, this book is awesome. I can't believe how good this book was. I'm on a roll. I am on a roll with awesome books. It's just, it's shocking how good this book is. And I don't feel like anybody's talking about it. Like I looked on, I, I tried to YouTube, like as I was getting close to the end of this, I'm like, what are my friends saying about this book? What are the other booktubers? And there's like nobody talking about this. I don't get it. I don't even know how I came to find out about this book. The title just grabbed me. The title sounds like something right up my alley. And, and it was, I mean, this is a witty book and it's just, it's like such a perfect book about a siege. And, and I love that sort of thing. Like I'm a big fan of history and I've read a lot of history books. Sounds boring, I know, but that's what I was into before I really started reading fantasy. And something about, you know, per, you know, long sieges on both sides of the battle, um, especially those on the defending side, uh, were, were always really fascinating to me. And I've read some really good ones. I mean, one of the books in the Black Company series, I don't remember the, which, what the name of it is, but it was about that as well. And it was very well done. This takes the cake. And it's so well written. I mean, that's... The, the best part about this book. It's just written extremely, extremely well. I mean, this KJ Parker, and I have to like be careful when I say that because I really like RJ Barker and this is KJ Parker. Um, RJ Barker did the Tide Child uh, trilogy. And so I, I feel like I'm gonna mix that up sometime in this video, but I think I've done it right so far. Um, but man, this is so good. I mean, so this is about a at the beginning of this book, it's just this first person narration um, with kind of witty dialogue on this engineer um, in this military and he is extremely capable and he always tries to pull the strings in the right way. He knows how to get the items that he needs to construct his bridges. He knows the ins and outs. He knows how to counterfeit money. He knows all the little tricks to get what he needs to get done. And he, but he thinks about things from such a logical perspective, uh, always. And suddenly he finds himself the highest ranking officer stuck inside of a castle with an enormous army that has steamrolled everybody before them coming right for him and he takes charge and boy does he take charge he just runs things like a dictator he's just trying to do everything he can to try to win this siege and the title here um it's it's only said once in the book the 16 ways to defend a walled city because that's the name of a book inside of this book on, and I think it's 15 ways, but he comes up with like a 16th way or something. There's something like that. And about like what you do to try to win. And it's just, it's, it's wonderful. And I feel like a lot of people are gonna like this though, because the writing style, it's so, so perfect for me. But you're gonna know, I think within a few pages, whether you're gonna love this book or be totally cool off this book. Because the way that it writes, it's like this cocky, sarcastic, kind of like kind of funny, not like laugh out loud funny, but like smart funny. And I'm not trying to claim like, oh, it's like high-minded and I'm super smart because I get this stuff. It's not like that. It's just, you have to kind of read it to see. I wish I could like read some dialogue for you, but it would be totally out of context and you wouldn't get it, as all comedy is. Uh, but but yeah, this is just, this rocks from start to finish. The audiobook narration of this is wonderful. You know, I, I, I feel like I've been reading some kind of hit and miss audio and I don't really mention the audio too much unless I really like it because it doesn't really have a lot to do with the book itself, but I listen to this on audio so I should mention that it's just, it's it's gotta be the preferable way to read this thing because there's nothing like really complex about this book. You know, there's you know probably a dozen named characters in this book, which is very small for a fantasy book. And they all can have really distinct kind of voices, but the main voice of, of this main character is just, it's very well done and it adds to this witty uh, background to have this 
this narrator who really knows what he's doing. This is a short book. I feel like this is like 350 or so pages. I don't know off the top of my head because I listened to this in audio. I have it written down somewhere, but I forgot, but it's not long. I mean, you can breeze through this thing. Um, it's part of a larger series called The Siege. I think there's three books. They all have similarly kind of funny titles, but I don't think you have to listen to these all or read them all to really get what's going on here. This one book can really be read as a standalone and I, I highly encourage it. Uh, but do be careful. I mean, maybe if you can get like an excerpt of it would be really helpful to really know if like this style is good for you. But man, it just, it knocked it out of the park. It's from start to finish. I mean, there's these wonderful twists and turns. I mean, this guy is just ultra capable, but he makes, you know, honest mistakes all the time. But it's so fun to read this character that is like so methodical in the way that he thinks. I don't get that mentality. I mean, he truly thinks like a modern day, like computer engineer would attack a problem, you know? It's like, let's go from A to B to C, and if that doesn't work, let's go to D and E. I mean, these major, major problems are happening, and he's just, like, enormous problems are happening. Like, our, the water supply is about to get poisoned, and he's just like, okay, yeah, let me uh, move that to the side of my brain. I'll deal with that later. We've got a bigger issue that we've got to take care of now. Let me isolate that problem and we'll worry about it later. Let's figure, let's figure out this one first. Um, the way that he gives orders to people is just so fascinating. It's like what you would want out of like the ideal leader in this horrific problem that is happening. Um, as the book goes along, there are these, these really nice twists and turns you know I feel like I when I say there's twists in a book I get I always get people that chime in like oh you've ruined it now that I know there's a twist well this is a fantasy book you can kind of guarantee that there's gonna be twists because that's one of the hallmarks of fantasy and that's that's here as well I mean this isn't fantasy in the sense of like Dungeons and Dragons you're not gonna get magical swords this really is fantasy because it's made up that that's it you're not gonna get anything i mean this feels like you know a real event that happened and in you know hundreds of years ago back before there was you know you know large scale scale artillery you know this feels like a castle siege that you may have read about but it's not and that's that's all that makes it fantasy so it's you know technically it is but it doesn't feel like it in the slightest um so yeah i've got a new author that i have to check out i which worries me because I feel like lately I keep finding these authors and I'm reading these first books in a series and now I have like a bajillion books in my TBR that I was not planning on reading before. Like I did, so, I, I worked so hard to get my TBR back to like square one. You know, I had this moment a few months back where I just finished a bunch of series and it's like, okay, let's start some new ones, you know, and some are going to win, some are going to lose, but the winners that I'm finding have all these follow up books and it's like, God, I, it's these moments where like, I'm kind of glad that I don't have any hair because I would start pulling the rest of it out and that would hurt and that would suck. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be checking out the next two books in this series. I hope more people give this book a shot because it very much deserves it. I'm gonna keep this review rather short because I don't really have a lot more to say that's not gonna spoil anything. And I certainly can't talk about spoilers in this because I don't feel like very many people have read this one. Um, you know, this isn't Lord of the Rings where I, you know, you're not gonna get ruined by finding out what happens at the end of that thing. Uh, yeah, this is kind of unknown. So yeah, make it less unknown, please. Check this out. I'm sure you can get it for cheap. It, you know, I'm sure you can get it at a library. That's where I got mine. So check it out. I almost guarantee that you're not gonna regret it if you can get past the second page and, and they're still liking it. So uh, that's it for me. Thank you so much as always and happy reading to you. Want to give a special shout out to my Ascendant tier patrons, Anna, Ben, CJ, Danute, Darren, Jamie, Maria, Michael Sugarman, My Book Is Lit, Romeo Mike, Ron Reich, Russell, and Sky.